they should release him in Amdekano. He did not do anything. And you think you are telling yourself the truth. My people, he don't read again. Former Niger Delta militant, Asari Dokumbo. Him don't come give one retired colonel for his Nigeria, Hassan Stan Lambo. Woto Woto as he hot. My people, before I go along and watch this full video, waiting this retired colonel Hassan Stan Lambo talk for inside this interview, not pass it. Make federal government of Nigeria, make them release Mazinam the canon, make they call IPOB members on a grab, make they call them in order, make them ask them what you now want. It just be like when picking the crap. You go call your picking here, but they say, Come, my picking, what do you want? You want to eat? Are you tasting of water? You care for juice? And hey, you understand? Now, wait till this man talk for this interview. He don't finish you. Now, sorry, carry K47 will come out again. He say one give everybody a real happy for Nigeria. My people, I beg. As soon as I just they watch this video, make one share a more. There is fire on the mountain. You know? Meanwhile, I will first put this video of this retired colonel because I just want to make one know where the old saga for the con. This retired colonel, a full video, we had for interview for Arise Television on a grab. Why I go put the other video of Asari Dokumba waiting for say enough is enough. Why that man go talk say made the release mass in the can say he won't give that man RIP, he will give Nigeria everybody a RIP. My people, not be small woto woto. I bet we could enjoy ourselves with this very video. What we'll see you now for the next update coming up soon. Respect one love guys. One major priority area in the southeast, which I think we cool off a great deal of now is for us to bring out Kanu. That gentleman. Pull him out. Stop this incarceration. I know uh, some of his pronouncements or maybe lines of actions and so on were offensive to the Nigerian state and there was a need maybe to take certain actions. But you see, the Nigeria, Nigeria itself is a family. That's my picture of Nigeria. When parts of the family feel offended, as a father, as parents, you sit the gentleman down, you sit the child down, and try to find out what are the problems, how do I help you? You don't like the Christmas shoe we bought for you? Okay, we'll get you a new one. Will that solve the problem? You don't like this meal? Can we fix another meal for you? Can we start talking with Kano? Can we start talking with IPOP? Can we start talking with other groups? I think a conversation with some of these teams would go a long way in addressing the problem. We mustn't at all time apply the stick, bring in some carrot at times, and let's see a carrot and stick diplomacy at play. Okay? We can do that. And I think if we do that, the Southeast, the situation in the Southeast will be highly doused, frankly speaking. All right? Uh, further incarceration, only make him more and more relevant, only heightened the heroship over him. He is a hero now, <laughs> whether we want to accept it or not. Mm. And we made him the hero. All right. We have made him a hero in the Southeast. If he comes out now, he's wise. He can contest the governorship in any of the states. Nobody will be asking whether he's from that state in the southeast. Asan Stan Lambo is an obese supporter. So arrogant. Because he went to NDA and became a military officer. Gives you the right to feel that you are superior to other people. What, is, what contribution did you make to Nigeria? Where in Nigeria did you defend? Throughout your career as a military man, I'm asking you, where did you defend in Nigeria? We have go around. Did you defend? Did you go to defend Nigeria? We have this thing. Did you go to defend? Come and talk rot. Hey, they should be in that gentleman in Amdikan who should be released. You are not here, you have not seen his videos. Where he's saying they should kill. You have not seen his video where he said he has set up ESN. You have not seen his video where he has gone to bend for arms to kill people. 
throughout our struggle, whether it is me, it is Tom Polo, it is any other person in the Niger Delta, did you see us ask, even with our capacity, did you one day see us in any video, including me that talks, where we say kill police, kill army? Have you ever heard of say that? It's not that we are afraid. We are not after the ordinary military men. They are not the, 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 the cravers of the law. They didn't make the law. They're just doing their job. So they can never be our target, and they've never been our target. Look at throughout the history, the, 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 the two of us, maybe myself and Tom Polo, even others. How many times did you hear that any one of us attend the military, attack the military? If the military comes to attack us, If the military come to attack us, we will fight back and defend our life. But we have never uh, initiated attack. We even move away. When the military is coming, we are the masters of our own area. We move away. Did Tompolo not walk away from Camp 5? Did he not walk away from Iroko? We walk away. Because our target is not the ordinary policeman, it's not the ordinary air force man, it's not the ordinary navy man, it's not the ordinary army man. We have nothing. They did not make the law. Our effort is the law, the law that takes our resources, the law that takes our land. That's what we are after. Maybe the military man is an horrible man, where he jobs. Maybe the military man is a Zango Katar man. Maybe the military man is a full animal. Maybe the military man is an evil man. Why would we put our head? We have never bothered. Go and check our record. We've never bothered. In Bukuma alone, 63 mobile police with all their hands were captured and allowed and dead over to police people to go. None of them was slapped. None of them was molested. Even though they were shooting at our people until they surrender, none of them died. None of them was molested. This was way back in 2004. None of them. I still meet some of them. This is somebody instructing that military people should be killed, military cars should be taken, it is displayed, uh, the houses and businesses of Amebola Tinubu should be born, this one, that one, this one, that one. It was somebody who had made broadcast, all these broadcasts, uh, uh, energize people, militarize them to go and kill innocent people. This is a man who plays a bounty. a man who placed a bounty on the head of a sitting governor of a state, River State. Hundred million naira. That is wicked should be brought dead or alive. And some of us could not take it. Even though we are wicked enemies. We are not in good terms with we came. We saw River State that somebody, an evil man, whether we voted we came, whether we support, whether I supported we can support me and my people, we saw it as the greatest insult on the river's people, and we stood up and we confronted. I tried to scream.